Hello, everybody. <clears throat> what I plan on doing right now is, as you probably see, it's in 720 right now, but that's because I want to make lower file sizes for right now because as soon as I upload these, if I do in 1080p, 1080i, then it'll take like forever to upload. So I plan on playing until I get traded. I'm tired of being on the Hawks at this point. But just a few updates real quick. I did get Mario Kart 8 and Watch Dogs, which I plan on doing for uh, my channel. And then MLB whenever I get it. And then right now, I'm really hoping to get UFC, but I kind of like spent all my money getting this computer I got. <laughs> so it's going to be a little tough. I have to uh, pay my parents back because they were nice enough to get me my monitor, my uh Dell 24 inch monitor so yeah I gotta make sure to pay them back and uh, I'll be set for UFC but hopefully I can get it <laughs> eh, who knows but anyways let's get going here hopefully 720 will be all right Really what I should do is I should just like watch a 720 video compared with a 1080 video and see. Yeah, just compare them together. Cause I know the frames per second for 720 is like 30 and a 1080 is 60. Con probably continue doing Killzone 2. Killzone seems to kind of like um, Max Payne when I did Max Payne. <laughs> People like to see me fail on Max Payne, kind of similar in Killzone. Do it now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready to get it going, we see the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers have an Eastern Conference contest on their side up a little bit as they prepare to defend their home here at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland. And now we take a brief check at the matchup. Our starting five. All right, let's get rolling. Hey guys, what do you think will be? God dang it! Come on. Ah, oh, Cleveland is beating us. No. Just over freaking three and do this thing here in the first. Williams gets to Millsap. Out to the wing. Irving against T. Here's money. There we Uses go. The glass to finish the layup. Here's Jack. He's coming off a 22 point game against Detroit. To the wing right side. And Gallinari kicks to Thompson. Puts it up. And up. Ah. Uh, off the rim, but it sinks right in. All right, boys, let's go. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Williams. Nice shot. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. For Atlanta, they come in off a loss to the Heat in Miami. Kevin, that game defensively was an absolute nightmare. They went into that building and just got blown out. Yes. A very hot team. Well, they didn't defend those shooters like they should have. And once the fans got into it and the arena started Ooh. working and thumping. Come and on, Jared. How dare you smack my dude. Well, Lewis Williams has two things working for him. On the Boom. Other. And sent one more. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It really keeps defenders guessing. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Mike Scott's checked in for Horford, and it's Corver in for Paul Millsap. Zeller setting the pick for Irving. Ah, Kyrie Irving out there. Back to Williams, more turnover prone last season than we're used to seeing. Yeah, that's normally a strength of his, Kevin. High volume offense without turning it over. Of course, he changed teams, so perhaps adjusting to the new system made him a little more mistake prone. Just fine on the clock. I like the How dare you block me? Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking ball that trip. The Atlanta shooting their third and fourth. Free yes. Throw the game. And as a club, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of their free throw shooting. About 76%. 
And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. John Jenkins checked in for Williams. We're seeing today what makes the best free throw Can you make another jump shot? Big man. Beautiful stroke. Oh. Now here's oh. Irving. Oh. Coming off a stellar oh. performance against Detroit. Come on, Zeller. Clark kicks to Irving. Oh. Feeds it to Clark. Oh, boy. And a miss there on the triple. Here is Corver. Passes to Schroeder. Nice. The basket. Book it. Schroeder's got his first two points of the night. Broke out the finger roll. Guys. Oh. Stylish finish. I would love to see a shot made like that. This Saturday. Right, the second quarter beginning and oh crap I was pressing X I did not see what that said God dang it chance early on to see their depth they got a, a nice effort from their bench players early in this game yes yeah, Steve I tell you what their subs have really packed the punch for them so far and ah, I jumped too early Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter of play on the court for Atlanta money in its center John Jenkins is out there with Schroeder. Then there's Kyle Quirk, and it's Crane. Right back at ya. Yeah, yeah. Let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, guys, Money in the last outing against the Heat delivered quite a performance. He ended with 22 points, and along with what he did on the offensive end, he also... Oh, crap. As well. it was Blocked it. Great outing for him, and nobody could slow him down. Something we're seeing consistently now, Kevin. Great, Doris. Thanks. Any chance we see him uh, top that performance, uh, Clark, here tonight? I'd say no chance, partner. <laughs> and that's not a knock against him. Oh! So good that night. I don't think he can possibly do it two games in a row. Man, freaking fine. <laughs> is that a word? We can use that word. It, is, it is now. Well, look at Steve. He didn't like that, though. Uh, look at him. Well, let's just say he was really good. <laughs> Jenkins, the pass to Millsap. Shoots. That's oh. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock. Ah. Turn it over. Here's our 2K leaderboard with the list of the teams that have been on fire from beyond the arc over the past month. The Hawks, number one. Seems like their whole team is in a great rhythm from the three point line right now. They've put on a display from long range. Al Horford is checked in for Let's go. Williams comes in. Fine, dude, Joe. Oh, no, they're beating us. Cleveland leading by four. Irving drives in. That's good. Irving's got his second basket of the night. All right. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Things are and getting the ball to the rim. Outside, Scott. To the paint. Here's money. Beautiful. Yes. Goes down. Yes. Money's got eight points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, that's become one of the stories of the first half. Mark, just piling up. Oh, he missed. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see uh. go back to that the next trip. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. G dishes to Irving. Here's Zeller. Uh. Zeller's got the lead up to six now for Cleveland. And has gone over two from deep here in the second. Here's Schroeder. He dishes it to Carroll. Cunningham kicks to Carroll. Ah. One second left. No good off the of front iron. Dang. And that does it for the first half of play. Cavaliers lead by six. Gentlemen, I'm over here with Tristan Tom. Now. Presented by Sprint. It's by the Sprint halftime Let's go. report. Presented by Sprint. Keep moving. And a nighttime view here of Cleveland, Ohio, the Rock and Roll. Oh my goodness. The Cavaliers leading by five. The Hawks last season weren't really a bad offensive team, but they did have one of the more memorable offensive nights, and not for anything positive. In a January game against a tough Bulls team, the Hawks only scored 58 points over the course of the entire game. 
Thompson and Bynum play together in the middle. Irving is out there with Jarrett Jack, and it's Gallinari in at the small forward. Oh. For Cleveland right now. Well, he allowed him to get all the way to the rim, so actually a pretty good play to foul him and make him shoot free throws. No choice, really. But uh, Paul Millsap. Let's go. Make this one. There we go. Worst offensive nights, Clark, in the NBA, but overall, we're a solid offensive team right around the middle of the league. Steve just goes to show what can happen when a team goes cold. Yeah, when you don't have that one guy who you can always lean on to score, I mean, there are going to be some nights where everything just misses. And I think that was the case in that game against Chicago. It was kind of bizarre. Come on, Horford. I had him stuff. games, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. The player Andrew Bynum has become more forthcoming with his opinions, um, which I don't mind. One thing he said last season was that he felt his development was stifled a little bit by playing with Kobe Bryant. And you know what? He might be right. T kicks to Williams. Ah. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. Dishes to Jack. Pass to Thompson. Good and Jack gets the assist. Dang it. Thompson's got eight. And going back. You can win this game, get us the lead. Ability to be a go-to scorer on the low block. Well, he's an old school center. I mean, he, he can throw him the ball on the block. He's got great footwork. He can score with either hand. He's an impossible cover. And when he's physically right, but that's the question. Okay. We gotta get this leg. Come on. And you step our defense up. Double teams down there. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris. Oh, I got my guy. I didn't think he could handle Andrew Bynum, so I had to get over there. Terrific signing in Paul Millsap. His contract cost them about $5 million less per year than Smith does. And alongside Al Warford, they've got one of the best shooting front courts in the league. Guys, Millsap had the second best plus minus. Right in. To go. He can really help this team. A steady vet. And then. One of the savviest players you'll see, no doubt. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Corver comes in for Al Horford. And it's Jared Cunningham in for Lou Williams. Uh-oh. Phone went off. Here's Clark. Come on. Looking for his Pump. first basket still in this one. Ah. checked in for Atlanta. All right, what the freak did I get? That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. Wants to be friends on Facebook. Okay. Atlanta on one. Four point. There we go. We are friends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh crap. Just five to shoot. Oh yes. Is that confirmation? Yes. All the points these defenders. What am I doing? Play through me. Come on, give me that ball. It says play through me. Come on, give me that. Come on, go around me. Toughen up down there, guys. Oh yeah. One oh four left in the third quarter. Cleveland moving it around. Come on, boy. The fader. Oh, nice shot. A large part of what they've been able Come to on. do here is centered around. Got a freaking get this lead. Here's Schroeder, defended by Jack. Here's Money, and he picks right in. Money. Money. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. That's what I do. Make sure you get a couple of shots here to close this quarter. There's the dish to Thompson. Knocks oh! Go, 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 go! Now eight seconds. Give me the ball. The two clocks. It's oh my god, I got stuffed. Horribly. You jerk. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off a good outing against Detroit. And I thought, guys, they were the best. No, do not let him make that. God dang it. Defense being played against him. I agree with you. I mean, it was really shocking how many yeah, free runs face. to the hoop they got. Schroeder passes to Money and the foul. Oh, reach in foul. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect. So we'll no! I missed! For Atlanta, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I can see those numbers read pretty well. Oh my god, they just got me. Ugh, that sucked. I missed. Ten seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Irving. No, don't let him make him at. Second shot opportunity. Get that out of my face. Here's Jenkins. Oh, go big it! Ah! Oh. And as we end the third quarter, I...
And it's time now to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Today, Steve, it's a big man winning the honor. And it was a no-brainer. Yeah. This assist was really out of this world. I mean, he had a great understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. Money out there with Jeff There we go. Right in. Grand, and at the center, filling out the middle. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to. No! Dang it! People? Let's go! Coming from inside the paint Beat the Cavs. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. Outside Williams. To the left side wing. Six to shoot. Give me the ball that late. Jeez. And they're on the break. And G with the stuff. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. Williams kicks to Jenkins. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Pass to Money. The eight-footer. Go in. There we go. Over the rim and in. Money's got 11 in the second half. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance you can to do hear some what boy. Brown was saying to his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep Come on, get in the way of that ball. Here this far. We're almost home. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Don't let Kyrie here. Yes. Get that ball. No. Set. Subbed in for Jenkins. And we're seeing the Hawks really. Not like Kyrie. No, Kyrie, no. Oh. He's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Of just how high his basketball IQ is. He really sees the floor well defensively. All right. You know, a lot of players in this league are, are so clever with the ball, they can make defenders look foolish. That's what Kyrie Irving does. I mean, he's just a magician with the ball. There we go. The Cavaliers lead cut down now to just five on the basket for money. I love his kind of... Oh. Caught me looking at my freaking computer. Jerks. Yeah, you're exactly right. He's a very skilled catch and shoot type of player. I mean, it adds a dangerous element oh to his game, That's and he can ball. make that jump shot. Teague, the pass to money, and that comes off. Point. Right in. Teague's got assist number eight now on the night. And going back to Kyrie Irving, ambidextrous, they say, with the ball in his hand. He really is. Come on, stop plays. 10. He plays with such great pace and energy offensively. Keeps the ball tight on the string. A true point guard, and I think his assist number. Oh, God. Oh. The offensive players around him continue to get better. Steve was saying he was amphibious. <laughs> I didn't understand that at all. <laughs> T dishes to Horford. Irving against T. They set the screen. The pass to Money. And shot on the way. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. He's been delivering here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, he's zoned in now. I mean, six of six in the quarter and looking for more. Irving kicks the Bynum. I got like zero rebound and zero assist, but my field goal percentage is freaking awesome. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played at. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun Could Freaking get better defense. <laughs> I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. Ah. To his players, we can do a lot of damage if we get more aggressive about driving the lane and taking it into the teeth of this defense. Man, I keep I'm jumping like an idiot. He told them to move with purpose on the perimeter. Use screens to find those open outside shots. Guys, we'll see. Come on, people. We gotta do something. It was great to hear from you, Doris. Bynum having a terrific game. He's got 14 points, and he's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, it's just a small part of what's been a, a solid overall contribution by him defensively. Back to Millsack. God dang it. Wanted to hit my guy to pass over his head. Oh my god, quit saying bad now. Jesus. 
Now, here's Bennett. He's tightly guarded. Six to shoot. Irving passes to Jack. Good in the oh, my goodness. Every time. <laughs> Two points for Jared Jack. I wasn't Jack! so sure he could get it turned Jack! around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. Here's Money, covered by Bennett. Money passes to Williams. <laughs> That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. The feed now to Bennett. Back to Jack. Over to the left wing. Atlanta with the rebound. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Williams dishes to Millsap. 105 left in the fourth. Yes! He used that pick to get in close. That's just a case of two teammates working perfectly together. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid God win. dang it. Come on. They simply ran him off the court. It was all about the transition game. Who cares? We're going to lose anyway. Translate to 14 wins on the season. And regaining their momentum against a team that had already beaten them once. Come on. Go for the rebound, dude. It makes it a 1-1 one -one tie in their best of three season series against the Hawks. It always takes someone stepping up. And that happened here as we got great numbers for Irving. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to uh, steals and get extra positions. Such a bad taste to lose to the freaking. Poked away. And nothing you can do to, to salvage this one at this point. Game over. Not anymore. Ah. Oh. They had is gone. Out of bounds. Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Substitution. Here's money on the mark with the 15 footer. Well, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. Here's Karasov. Yeah. So it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. Dude, put me on someone else, please. Throttle from the start. Thank you for joining us for this question. I don't know what, what the one dynamic goal was. Traded. Come on. Thanks for coming in. Listen, I'm going to be up front with you here. We took your request to be moved to Sirius. Oh, yes. Wish you could have stuck with us longer, but we all know this is a business. Yes. Your request has been granted. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Light. You've been traded to the Minnesota. I do no! Effective immediately. <laughs> a representative from their team will be in touch with you shortly. The Go screw yourself, man. I didn't say the freaking Timberwolves. Oh, man. Oh, God. How dare you. Look at that. My screen is freaking locked up because... Oh, no. It's passing days. It is great to finally have you here. Please. Oh, no, no, it isn't. I want you to know I can speak for this entire uh, organization when I say how thrilled we were to Can I say here. how unthrilled I we am to be here? We've got a for this team, and we cannot wait to get you out in front of those amazing... I'm so happy I'm wearing my Thanks. Hawks uniform yeah, hat. Yeah, definitely time Still. for a change of scenery. I can't wait to help this team win some games. Good. Well, I'm going to take you down to meet the uh, coach and the rest of the team. Oh, God. Before we do that, I had our media team prepare a little video for Oh, no. I want you to think of it as our way of saying... Welcome to the team. Oh. All right. Welcome to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh. Minneapolis St. Paul, also known as the Twin Cities, is the 16th largest metropolitan area in the United States, the second largest economy in the Midwest, and is growing quickly. A relatively new NBA franchise, the Timberwolves are poised to accomplish great things, and with a talented roster, things are only looking up. And now, 
Introducing your fellow Timberwolves. At point, Ricky Rubio, as pure a playmaker than you'll Ricky see Rubio's in the league, decent, can make your jaw hit the floor with a pass. At the two guard, Kevin Martin. He's got a funny release, Kevin but he Martin. can shoot the lights out. Still an offensive mm. force. At the small forward position, not many players are as solid and dependable as he is. He gives you 100% effort from the start of the game to yeah, the final sure. whistle. At the four spot, Kevin Love, a truly <laughs> dominant Kevin rebounder Love. who yeah. controls the glass, That's can score on the block or man. step back and hit a three. And in the middle, Nikola Pekovic, as strong a player as you'll find in the league. Yes, he can be impossible to move inside. Decent, I guess. The Minnesota Timberwolves, united we run. Yeah, of course. I'm probably not getting past Kevin Love. I gotta buy myself some Minnesota Timberwolf crap now. Let's go do that real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been cleared for landing. Please buckle your safety belts and enjoy your stay in Milwaukee. Alright, let's go to the freaking store and buy some crap. Some Timberwolf stuff. Let's see here. We'll be go good with... Minnesota, which we go. Basic T, I guess. Derek Rose logo key, no. Hmm. Pajama top. <laughs> Bowling shirt. And eh, we'll go with plaid this time, I guess. Yeah, which one would I like though? Oh god. I don't have enough for it, do I? Alright, fine. I'll go with this. Hockey. There we go. Now we gotta definitely change that hat. Bottom, and where's the hat? Team shop. Now, where's the freaking Timberwolves? Timberwolf. Is there any cheap hats? Oh, god dang it. Well, I don't see anything right now. Well, we gotta take that cap off anyways. Court. Game arrival. Solid suit. Where the frick's my hat? I get bottoms. Two sweatpants. No cap, no 
Cap. I don't want a freaking cap. How do I take that freaking crap off? I don't want it. No. No. Take it off. No. I'm going to be wearing Atlanta Hawk cap. No. Now I guess I'm gonna have to deal with it until I get some more VC earnings. So, all right, I'll probably end up playing a game with Temper Wolves off camera here. I, I don't think anything else interesting is gonna happen. All right, I want to get rid of that cap. So, all right, see you guys later.